Hello, Davis here. Um, today I'm working on a silverfish farm, XP farm. Um, got the idea from Doc M's last video. He mentioned it, and I'm like, oh well, what the hell? I don't have anything else to do today. Um, got a chest full of stuff that I thought I was going to need. Um, it doesn't seem like the silverfish really hurt you a whole lot. Um, and they also have to jump at you in order to hurt you. So that was interesting. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is block up the entrance here so no creepers creep up on me and um this one so the silverfish can't get me turn it off of peaceful so they spawn and the first thing you want to do is uh take out all your lava and yeah found out that the silverfish can go around those little gaps. Um, the only blocks the silverfish can infect are cobblestone, clean stone, and smooth stone block. Everything else can be uh, used. <coughs> Go with the sandstone because sandstone looks cool. After you finish getting rid of your lava, the next thing you want to do is get rid of all the junk blocks in here. Um, stairs and everything. And then you want a kind of a too high perimeter around the spawner. to put a hole. Your hole is going to go directly underneath the spawner. And then, um, <laughs> kill this guy. Create a, uh, mob, your mob killing device will be underneath the spawner. So I'll just make a quick little staircase here. It can be done anyway. Uh, I like crushing things with pistons, so I'm going to be using a piston put up a torch here quick. And you want to clear out all the blocks. Any stone blocks that are going to be near where the silver fish will be because it will infect them and then uh, yeah, that doesn't really help you out. Replace it with sandstone, sandstone. down. Um, put a block up here so it's easy to get to them. And a half slab. They cannot spawn on double half slabs. Or they cannot infect double half slabs. So you could half slab everything out. No problem. Put our piston in here. Glass block. They can't fit through that little 
hole. They can fit through the holes between the doors and the fences, but they can't fit through this hole. <laughs> Replace this with sandstone, because sandstone is cool. I'm going to go finish the upper part. gonna dig out the whole area first. Easy to find. Then you want to go diagonally up to the wall. That's where your water is going to be. And then um, block off everything past that. Again, diagonally from the hole to the wall. That's where your water source would be, and this is where you put your, your block wall. Too high, otherwise it'll jump over it. These guys push you all over the place. I got it on hard right now, and they're not hurting you hardly at all. Okay, um, time to clean everything up. And, uh, put a sign in that, uh, middle hole. That'll stop your water so they just fall in. If you can get to the hole. Then you can put our water at each corner. Pretty simple. The little guys are pretty good swimmers, so this isn't necessarily perfect. I tried making a piston trap, but that worked out, um, well, it didn't work at all. Alright, so you just come down here, you can flip your switch to weaken them, and then beat them to death. Um, for you guys who know more about redstone, you can put on timers that uh, gets the just one hit or something. Like I said, they're pretty good swimmers, so if they kind of sit there just trying to go after you the whole time, kind of annoying. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty simple thing. Just uh, can't use stone, smooth stone, or smooth stone brick. Davy out.